Hello everyone here is Arthur. Today we will talk about system called Git. Let's begin. First, think how would you organize group project involving several people. Each project member should be able to work independently without a strict supervision of the other. Have you ever lost any important data you worked on, because a silly mistake or power cut? Global Information Tracker in short Git may solve that kind of problems. Git is distributed system, which allows you to save fragments constituting code changes. These packages of fragments, are called commits. Commits are saved in history of commits, and after summing them up, we can get current version of code. A commit is a list of changes with marks on each changed fragment. That change could be marked on the beginning, or at the end of file. It could also be marked in the middle of file, marking lines between which the change happened. Branch in Git is a history of commits, which is independent from source branch of any, other per point history. There is a separation that creates two branches, when each of these branches can be updated independently. That looks like a tree with branches, when we see it from the ground level. A branch could be merged into another branch. In most of cases it's merged into source branches, that give us updated version of the source branch. In programming we often use branch names in order to mark them, as a feature or a bug. Git also allows us to connect with external servers, and save our project's files in form of repository. Repository is a pack of files with common history saved in Git. There already exist many dedicated remote solutions, such as Bitbucket, GitHub, GitLab. By default, connection with server is called origin. To update code we use command pull and to send it we use command push. We can also use command fetch, which allows us to update, all remote branches currently existing on the server. Each commit provides us many information such as, branch name, comment, time of change and its author and email. That enables us to quickly identify problem, and moment of potential bug. Also it gives us the possibility to reset history of commits. We have three kind of reset, first is hard that we can use to go back in history of commits to the point where there is no recently added files. Second kind of reset is mixed, that will undo last commits, and last local changes in git. Finally, there is soft reset that will undo only commits without remaining tracking filed by git such as, deleted or added files. Another function called stash, should also be mentioned. That function allows to storage changes, in local clipboard with ability to unstash. This gives us the possibility to copy, and paste new changes for example changes between branches, if any failure occurs. Commits system allows for tracking changes, even if many people works on the same file, at the same time. Git can track every place and assume how to connect, every change. Merge of different versions, is being made by rebase, if history is on the same branch. Merge is done by conflicts resolution. Conflicts can be resolved automatically by git, or all has to be done manually, especially when changes happen between lines in the same file. Rebase and merge. It's worth mentioning that there is a difference between rebase and merge when closing a branch. After rebasing commits from merged branch are moved to source branch. In merge we save all history of commits with connected branches as they were. Reviewing is a good practice. It is advisable to ask another person to analyze correctness of code, just before performing a merge. Also it would be nice to have a continuous integration within our process, which may provide necessary automatization. We recommend you stick to the end, and watch all our videos in the playlist. Check sources of this video in the description, where you can find more information. Leave the like, comment and subscribe, and share it with friends that want to improve programming skills. 
Finally it's good to touch upon the convention, called git flow. It restricts branch names within specific convention. First, each environment has its own branch. Second, rules are determined by kind of destination environment for production, hotfix for development, features, and release version. Release version is pack of features prepared for release to production, it's often tagged. Tag can be numbered by many different patterns but it's topic for another video. Thank you for watching, especially for all subscribers, and see you in the next video.